guys, it's Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts back with a new crochet pattern. Today I want to quickly teach you how to crochet these little dish scrubbies. I've been getting really into dishcloths and scrubbies and kitchen crochet patterns, so I came up with this quick pattern. These literally work up in less than 10 minutes, and you can get a lot of them from one ball of yarn. So let's get right into the tutorial. To make these scrubbies, you're going to need some scrubby yarn that is called Yarn Bee Scrubology. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's the only yarn I've found that is like this, this a scrubby yarn that's like this. It's kind of in this tube, if you can see. There we go, if we can get it to focus. And then if you, we look at the end, it's like, it's like it's stuffed, but then the texture, it kind of looks soft, but it's actually like a scrubby yarn. It's rough, which is great for scrubbing dishes. And then you'll need an H or five millimeter crochet hook. And with those things, we can get started. So to start off, I'm gonna make a slip knot and I'm going to chain three. Now we're going to work one double crochet in this third chain from our hook. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and make your double crochet. Now this chain is not going to count as a stitch. We're gonna do nine more double crochet in this chain and then we're going to join the round. And as you do this, I like to work over the tail so that I can tighten it at the end. So I'm going to first put the tail over like this as I make my next double crochet. And then I'm just going to switch the tail around and I can now work all the way around with the tail underneath. All right, so there's our third double crochet. Fourth. And again, as you can see, I'm just working into this same exact space right here. So I have four so far, five. And I'm just gonna keep going until I have a total of 10. Okay, so here I have my 10 double crochet, three, six, nine, ten. Again, the chain does not count. So we're gonna insert our hook into that first double crochet and make a slip stitch. And there's our round one. Round two and three are going to be exactly the same. We're gonna chain one and single crochet in the next double crochet. So we don't wanna go in the same stitch as this slip stitch, we wanna go in the next one and make two single crochets there. Now we're just gonna make two single crochet in every double crochet around. So now I have four, here's my next stitch. I have six. And I'm just gonna continue with that all the way around. So when you get close to the end, you wanna go ahead and count your stitches. We want a total of 20 stitches. So we are gonna work into this slip stitch here, but we don't wanna work into the chain that we made and it can sometimes fool you and make you think it's a stitch, but it's not. So we're just gonna do two more in this slip stitch. I've already counted my stitches, but make sure you count yours. And then we're going to slip stitch to this first single crochet. And again, don't pull this slip stitch tight or anything because we do work into it at the end like we just did on this round. Now, like I said, round three is exactly the same. Chain one, two single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in each stitch around. This time you will want to be checking for a total of 40 stitches because we're again doubling the amount that we had in round two. All right, so here I am at the end of the round. I have 40 single crochet and I'm just going to join with my slip stitch. And at this point, I can cut the yarn. 
and fasten it off. Now when you weave in the ends for this, try to do it securely. Um, don't just do a few stitches because if this is going to be used in the kitchen as a scrubby, you want it to be pretty secure. And make sure you just have a yarn needle with a large eye because this will be a little tricky to get into a smaller eye, but a large eye should be fine. You also want to make sure it's a blunt tip because you want to be able to just go through the stitches without piercing through like the center of this yarn because it just won't work very well. You want to just be able to get through the actual stitches, which is why you don't want something pokey. I hope you guys enjoyed this crochet pattern. If you did, I would love if you could give the video a thumbs up and come subscribe for more crochet patterns and tutorials. I'm going to be doing lots of dishcloths and scrubby type things this year, so I'll also have a playlist linked below if you'd like to see more of those. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!